Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing really good. Today we're going to be talking about operators. Now, I'm going to split this into a smaller series of videos. So we're going to start off by talking about the assignment operator and the arithmetic operator. So these two things we'll talk about. Now the assignment one is really important. I don't have to show you this in code. I already have. It assigns a value on the right side to some variable on the on the left side. So this x equals to 5 gives x the value of 5 assigns 5 to x you can use it between variables as well if x is 10 and y is 5 this statement here x equals to y would make x 5 because y is 5 right so that's how that's how you can work with those play around with that if you want please read all this stuff about operators on this page because it's really good this is for the best for your best and I really like this page because it, it explains stuff really well I'll link this in the description uh, and then we'll talk about arithmetic operators um, these are really important we'll go through these um, these operators help you add divide subtract and all that stuff with between variables so and the modulo as well it's a little more complicated to understand but let me just show you how that works so everything here you know all of these operators you probably know from maths but modulo is a little more complicated because this if we look at this statement here 11 modulo 3 is actually 11 divided by 3 but you don't get the division result you get the remainder of the division so let me just tell you here these are integers right these are these don't have decimals so if you do division between something that doesn't have decimals and it's going into an integer x is an integer stores only integers then you'll get something called an integer division so the remainder will be cut off there won't be any decimal you get weird results sometimes like 3 divided by 2 won't be 1.5 it will be uh, it will be 1 you know that 0.5 will be cut off and thrown away no one knows where it, it goes right so but the modulo gives us a remainder so 11 divided by 3 what is that that is not 4 because if this was 12 it would be true but uh, it is 3 so you get 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11 right now this plus 2 is important because that is the remainder 3 times 3 is 9 and then 11 minus 9 or 9 minus 11 whatever it, it gives you a remainder of 2 so that's what we get out of this operation here so the rest value is 2 that's what's left over and remember that if you divide stuff with integers you'll get weird results but if you have floats or doubles that can handle f uh, these uh, decimals then you'll get a really proper division you know with a point and all that stuff so remember that then we have a bunch of other kinds of um, operators I'll walk you through those in this video and then we'll talk about it in the next one uh, in more in detail so the compound assignment is really important writing this is the same as writing this that's what they mean so it's a shorter version of adding a number to an already existing variable all right so x if x is 15 writing this minus equals to would be the same as this so 15 equals to 15 minus 5 which gives us a new value of 10 that it will be stored in x so sometimes right you would like to have maybe you have experience in your character in, in a game he has 20 experience you don't want to say experience equals 50 you want to say experience maybe equals plus uh, experience plus equals 10 so you would add 10 to the already existing 20 in there depending on the mob you killed or whatever or if you have a bank account you want to say bank account amount plus equals the new amount another like amount maybe five hundred dollars so you would have a thousand dollars plus equals five hundred would be 1500 right so you you kind of use this as a short version of adding something to already existing value these are also important increment and dec decrement operators you can do plus plus x or x plus plus you can have it before or after like it says here uh, it ha does have a very important um, reason why you can why you can use either this or this but if you're just what if you just want to add one to your value and you're not doing it in an operation like in a if statement or if in a assignment something like that no problem you just write the variable plus plus in any side of the variable and the semicolon you'll add one to it 
all right so it's the same as writing x plus equals 1 or x equals x plus 1 so just adding 1 to it now remember you can't do these on strings and stuff like that this is just for numbers right so integers floats and doubles and, and all those types of numbers so you don't want to do this on strings and stuff so yeah here read about this please and you'll understand uh, how this works all right really important to understand now let me give you I could actually you know what I'll talk about that in the other video uh, if I remember hopefully I do but we'll talk about that now then we have relational comparison operators we talked about these really good for if statements all this stuff read about it uh, logical operators also very good in if statements all that stuff uh, not and or so you can read about this here if you want to already before the video at the next video and then you have a little other fun stuff you can read about down here but let me just get started before I babble too much uh, so we're gonna talk about arithmetic operators all right so let's get started now we have a bunch of different ones we'll say int we're gonna need a few things int x equals 0 int y equals 0 then we're gonna have some doubles double uh, d1 equals maybe 6.0 uh, or we'll, we'll use floats because doubles you write like this floats are also good to use but then you want to add an f after you don't have to but it optimizes the program a little bit it helps the computer understand that this is a floating point value meaning that it can have a bunch of these thingies and it optimizes it for you so make it a habit of writing an f after your floating point now if you do this it's the same as writing point zero all right so i can just do point f but you can't do this you can't just do six f you need a point afterwards all right no matter what you do. so four five six point four five f like that so i'll just say six point f float f2 equals maybe four point f and then we'll say f1 instead here so now we have some integers and some floating point values remember these can hold only integers and these can hold decimal values so let's start off here so x equals 2 or equals um, what are we going to say 2 plus 3 x equals 5 minus 4 x equals 4 times 3 x equals as uh, what do we have 6 divided by 4 so this is going to show you the integer division this is integer division all right so it's, we're going to get something that's going to be cut off completely uh, then we have the modulo 6 modulo 4 so i'm going to show you all of these and i'm going to print them out after each c out and plus and then the x value like this y is 23 maybe uh, we'll do this as well the assignment operator so x equals 2 equals y plus 2 for example and we're just gonna copy paste this this will take whatever is in y and add 2 to it and put that into x so y plus 2 there you go and then we'll just do minus here we'll do multiplication here division and then uh, modulo like this and then we'll also do this so um, f1 divided by f2 will be f1 divided by f2 and here, here, here you will see a proper division uh, proper division there you go um, and yeah this should be good so I'm printing out the result directly here I'm not putting in the result into some variable like result or something like that I'm just printing it out directly and you should be able to see everything that's going on so let's just run this program and we'll see so y plus 2 is 25 so 23 plus 2 is 25 that's correct the addition 2 plus 3 
is 5. The subtraction is minus 1. Oh no, the, the subtraction is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. Uh, the multiplication is 12. Three, 4 times 3 is 12. Division. Look here. So this is integer division. 6 divided by 4 should be like 1.5, right? But it just gives me 1 because it cuts away the 0.5. It doesn't exist because we can't hold decimals in integers. So the x just cuts that off for us right there. Um, now if you would just print this out directly into the... Let's try that as well. Um, let's just try this. So if I print it out directly into the result, it should give me one anyway, right? Because we're dividing two integers with each other and the result will then become an integer. So let me show you something more cool. If I do something called a cast, if I, this is an integer, but if I set, tell the computer that one of these should be a float, float six. So this will, computer will see this and will say, okay, this is an integer, the six. It doesn't have a decimal value like this. It's just six. I'll, let's make it into a float. So it will, after it reads it, it will just put a point zero or something after it. And the other one will still be an integer. So let me just show you how this works. We get 1.5. You're like, what? How did that happen? Look at this. 1.5. How did that happen? Because I converted one of these into a float, the result will become the thing that has more detail. So a float has decimals. It's more detailed than an integer. It, integers does not have decimals. So if one of the values is something that has decimals, the result, the outcome of this multiplication will be a floating point or, or something that has decimals. If I put that into an x, it still won't work. Because what this does, this x is an integer from the start. We can't remove that. We can't change that. So this x will this will become a floating point result. It will give us 1.5, but as soon as we assign it to x, it will still cut it off. It will remove it. So this won't work in our case, but this does because we directly print out the floating point value. All right, the result will become a floating point. So remember, if you want to change something in a result, you just need to change one of the variables into something with more detail and the whole result will be in that, in that detail. So if I do zero point, uh, F like that we'll get the same result 1.5 right there so remember that I know that's a little fuzzy maybe and I'm really sorry for not explaining it better but just remember that try playing around with it and you'll see that it works uh, the modulo you saw it gave us what did it give us it gave us 2 so 4 goes once into 6 and the remainder is 2 there's only 2 left after the division 2 apples left uh, so you can, if you really don't understand it, I know a lot of you do, but let me just give you a really quick example. If you have a basket that can only fit four apples and you have six apples, right? You put four into that basket, how many are left? Two, right? So that's the remainder. That's something that can't fit anymore into the basket. So that's how that works. Um, or let me give you a better example. That was, that was kind of dumb. If you have a basket that can fill fit six apples but you'll have apples in bunches of four right you put one bunch in that fits there's two places left but you the other bunch is four apples so you take out two apples out of that bunch put it in now you have six apples in your basket and two left from that bunch and you can't put it anymore so that's the remainder that's two that's a better example there you go sorry about that uh but yeah there you go perfect and the proper division gave us 1.5 because those two were floating point values. Now that was a lot of information to take in. I understand uh, that you might be a little confused and it might be a little annoying, but just look at this again, read everything in this homepage, and I guarantee you, you'll be a lot better at this after that. So, but for this video that's over, I guess, because we'll talk about the other operators in the next one, the compound assignment and all that stuff. So that should be good. But keep learning, work hard, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye-bye.